Hey guys, even here in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with a little posing video of Chris Bumstead and oh boy does he look impressive, hell yeah he does. Like all the other classic physique guys, they all look great, sure, but nobody is as impressive as Chris Bumstead. I don't even know what is it exactly that he has, I'm gonna actually try to analyze uh, some of the things that make his physique so special in this video, but just overall he has incredible structure, incredible genetics, and the thing with Chris Bumstead is also... As the prep goes along, as he's getting closer to the show, he's upping the doses, you know, he's not blasting it in, in the off-season because of his autoimmune system disease, he has to take it easy in the off-season, try to progress as much as possible with very little, with TRT dose, and then as the show approaches, that's when he does the most stuff, and as you can see, as he's getting leaner, he's getting harder, fuller, he's getting more separated, and pay attention to those delts, like how much separation does he have in those delts, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's really hard to obtain, amateur bodybuilders don't really have that, that's something that comes with, look at this, look at how freak his freaking shoulders are, wow, ridiculous, that's something that comes with muscle maturity, and I know Chris is young, but he has a lot of muscle, and once again, he's not taking a lot of stuff in the offseason, so when he is getting closer to the show, that's when he does the most, and that's why he gets this freaky, hard, separated, 3D kind of paper thin skin look, and it just looks incredible. And I know people are kind of getting bored of Chris winning every Mr. Olympia and they would like to see an upset, I would like to see that too, it would be interesting, but if I'm gonna be honest, there is no chance, no chance of that happening, like nobody in classic physique today comes even close to this freaking monster right here, like he's going to destroy everybody, he's going to kill these guys easy. If you followed his progress in this prep, you may have noticed that at certain times there were classic VZ guys who looked better than him at certain times, but as the show was getting closer, Chris would just get significantly, exponentially better and better and there is still 10 more days left, even though he looks incredible right now, you can be sure that he's going to make progress every single day until the Olympia and to me it seems like this is going to be his best version yet. Personally, I prefer his 2020 version over 2021, I think he was a little bit flatter in 2021, I think a year before he was fuller and rounder, I think that look was more impressive to me, but this year, based on all the photos and videos, it looks like we are going to see the best version of Sibam yet, and you guys have to remember that he started working with Honey Rambert, like the best coach in the world, the creator of Phil Heath, the guy that helped Jay Cutler win that 2009 Mr. Olympia, uh, the coach that has like over 20 Mr. Olympia titles in all categories, so I'm sure he learned a thing or two from Honey. Now, in this, in this part of the video right here, you can see all that separation, all those lines in his shoulders, what I was talking before, not everybody has this. Take a look at Urs Kaletsinski right now, he also has a YouTube video where he's also training shoulders with Jay Cutler, and he also does some posing at the end of the video. Now, the last time we saw Urs and Sibam in the same video, Urs was in better conditioning, and he overall looked more impressive because he was already lean, he competed earlier this year, I mean, this guy did Mr. Olympia and then Arnold Classic and some other shows in between, I think, and then also he's gonna be doing Mr. Olympia now, so he probably never went off, not really, and he was shredded pretty much year-round not the healthiest approach and I don't know how fresh can he look on that stage, so as you can see, even though at some point Urs was definitely way more conditioned than Chris Bumstead, I don't think he's more conditioned than him now, I think Sibam uh, surpassed him, I think Chris is way more conditioned right now, and here is the thing that I was telling you about before, about the shoulders, like not many people have that crazy separation in the delts. Pay close attention, so yes, he is very lean, but he doesn't have the same separation like Chris, I know he just trained shoulders and there is a lot of blood in them, but Chris also trained his shoulders and he does have separation, so that's, that's something that doesn't happen so easily, so fast, it takes some years of training, or getting conditioned, everybody is obsessed with having shredded glutes, and yeah, that is very hard to obtain, but shredded shoulders with separation, like Chris has 
that's something that doesn't happen so easily. In most cases, it just doesn't happen. That's something that comes with muscle maturity, with having a whole bunch of muscle fibers crossing one over another. The thickness in that muscle, in the delts, is what's gonna make your shoulders so separated. And Chris has that, and it looks freaking impressive. This right here was Urs a couple of weeks ago, at five weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So at that point, he was already peeled. He was already shredded, ready for the stage. So what can happen in five weeks if you look like this already? I don't know. I hope he saved a couple of aces up his sleeve that he can take out in the end, like maybe introduce some new uh, hardening agents, stuff like that. But, you know, it is a possibility that his body is going to, you know, become catabolic at some point and that he's, that he's going to lose that fullness and he's going to come in flat. There is a possibility. I hope his coach knows what he's doing. But at this point, look, at this point, he was looking amazing. He was looking great. And let's say he looks the same right now. But you can see what he looks like in videos. And he does look great. I think he has a chance of being all the way up to second. I don't see him beating Chris Bumstead, no chance in hell. So if he looks like that in photos under great lighting, he looks freaking impressive, yeah. And he looks like this in videos, which is also very impressive. Imagine what Chris Bumstead would look like under great lighting if he looks like this in these freaking videos. As some of you guys may know, I competed very recently and I ended my prep about five weeks ago. During this off period, I have been using Vintage Boost, it really helps bridge that gap from being off to being on. It really helps with boosting your natural testosterone levels, so if you guys want to try it out, the link is down below. And if you use a code DIVA, you get a 15% discount, and also by doing that, you help me a lot. So if you guys want to see me make more of these videos, if you enjoy this content, you can support me by buying this and using my code EVAN. Thank you guys. Let's see how big of a bodybuilding fan you are. Can you recognize these legs if you haven't seen the video on Instagram, of course? Yep, that's Anton Voyant, and he looks ridiculous right now. I talked about this before, and I'll say it again. To me, it looks like he upped the doses. I think he was last year, I mean, actually, last prep, Vancouver Pro Prep, he was very conservative. He was really careful what he's doing because of his heart condition his heart isn't exactly uh, at its healthiest so he was really careful what he was doing and you know he made a lot of progress he still looked amazing even with those low doses but this time around i think he's fuller and harder and leaner more shredded than he ever was in his career pay attention to his delts when he turns to the side you can see how lean how shredded he is look at this look at the separation look at the skin so this guy is very, very lean right now, so it really looks like he's about to bring the best conditioning of his life to Mr. Olympia stage. And even though this guy doesn't look as impressive in photos, on stage compared to the other guys, he does look very impressive. You know, he's deceivingly big, like you don't realize how big this guy is unless he's standing next to the other people. Uh, guy Citernino was telling a story on a Fuad Abiyaz podcast that he saw in person Anton Voyant stand next to Kai Green. And you guys know that Kai Green is known for having one of the biggest legs ever. And he said that Anton had bigger legs. Even though Kai's legs looked more impressive, Guy says, probably because Kai has bigger lateralis, still he noticed that Anton had more mass. And that's going to translate to the stage. When he is on the stage next to the other guys, you're gonna see how big he is and how big his legs, these legs are. Impressive, man, impressive. Next up, we have a physique update of Samson Dauda from Double Bicep Shot at 10 days out of Mr. Olympia as well. And as you can see, we taper. Looks very good. Like, Samson, his weakest point would be his lats. And it doesn't hurt him as much in back poses, if you ask me, but it does hurt him in front poses. Maybe not as much in front double, in front lat, it kind of does. In front relaxed as well, but in the front double, not really, because he has a very small waist and he has huge arms. And when he lifts his arms up, you can still see that chest thickness, because he has crazy chest. So there is a lot of good stuff happening when he does this pose and you can't really even notice that his lats are a little bit high and not as 
as thick as developed so that's something he could work on but it doesn't look that bad in this pose everything just flows so well what i am concerned with in this photo would be this area right here his nipples now i'm not sure if this is gyno or not maybe he had a gyno surgery and some of it was just left and it just looks like this all the time and uh, it's not that noticeable in poses but maybe he just started forming gyno and if that's the case then there is a big possibility that his guy is going to get worse until the Mr. Olympia if he's using certain uh, certain PEDs. So I don't know if he's doing that, and I don't know if that's the case, but something is happening right here. I hope Milo Sharchev, Samson's coach, uh, knows what's happening and how to prevent this from getting worse. But I hope it's not newly created gyno. I hope it's just the way it looks and it's going to get better until Mr. Olympia. And if it does, I mean, you guys know that Bonac lost at Arnold Classic because of the gyno. Gyno only, I mean, he did beat Brandon Curry, but he lost because of gyno. And I wouldn't want to see Samson place lower than he should because of that issue. I sincerely hope I'm wrong. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.